So to make the pedal band for the Durga Yantra, we're going to first of all do a guide circle. This is going to be erased. Make a circle that just touches the corners of the gates. And while we're here with our compass, make a tiny bit bigger circle. Can you see that space? A little bit bigger. And just make a little mark. This is going to be a guide. Doggy Yantra petals have these beautiful little flowers adorning each one. So that's a guide to the flowers. All right, and now the petal band thickness. So for your eight petals for Durga. So why is Durga so amazing? Well, Durga is said to be the power of all of the divine forces. So in Tantra and some of Hindu mythology, there was a demon called Mahisashura. A few syllables to that. Mahisashura, and sometimes Mahisashura, Mahishasura, could be a buffalo, and sometimes he could be a human being. And there was a curse over the land, and the demons. So here's the measurement. Do I get carried away? So the measurement is the measurement of the width of the gates, entire gates. Then you place that on the circle and make a mark. Then go ahead and put the metal point at the center of your yantra. Open up the compass to that mark and draw a circle. Anyway, calamity had descended over the world and the universe was in darkness. And only could be defeated by someone strong enough to fight this Mahisashura and so Durga became manifest she was like the goddess who embodied all of the qualities of each of the avatars she was like the sum total of all of them and her strength finally defeated him there's something in there where it had to be someone who was not entirely human, was not entirely animal. And so, of course, that demon had those qualities. So she killed him. She, she was like, made manifest, killed him, and then that restored the balance in the universe. So peace reigned again. So oftentimes you hear these stories, they come at a time of great unrest, but then there's a time when harmony is restored. So Durga is like the restorer of harmony and greatness. So we're going to divide this little section here, this eighth, this corner, into two. So just as we have been doing, lead and metal of the compass, switching it over, doing a crisscross. And then Durga is said to have the compassionate love of the mother. So the mother who comes to protect, protect her children from the evil, so from the unknown or from ignorance. Very powerful yantra. So it clears out that which is negative, that which is not serving you, and then it increases the amount of love, the amount of energy, the amount of power that you have for good. So once you have that spacing, you're going to put the metal point of the compass on a center line where it touches that circle we made and draw some semicircles. So you're going to go around with the same fixed width compass and create eight semicircles. Om Doom. Doom is the Bija mantra for Durga, the seed sound, Doom. It's a powerful sound.
And then once you have your eight semicircles, you can start to create your petals and your flowers. So the petal shape is nice to have a point. And then go around and then in. And then there's a, so these are lotus petals. There's a lotus seed at the center. And then there's also a flower on top. So the flower shape is one petal and then two kind of side petals. So I'll show you as we draw the second one. How they touch. So here, see they have the shape here of the lotus seed. There's almost the same shape See there? Between the petals. And it's okay if the petals are a little different. You know, like if you were looking at a flower, all of the petals would be a little bit different, wouldn't they? So go ahead and continue with those until you have eight. And then you can erase the extra markings.